Hey guys, Will here with Create Studio, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to publish your projects out of Create Studio 3. All right, so right now, I've got a scene already built out. I've got a surfer um, standing on the beach there. He's got a lower third down below, and I've got an audio track that plays in the background. All right, so, so if I go over here and hit Publish, I'm listed with my video options, and I can export as an MP4, a WebM, or an MOV. So when you export out as a WebM or an MOV, you do have the options to uh, export as a transparent file, right? So say for example, that I want to just export out the lower third by itself as a transparent file. All I need to do is go to publish, go to video, choose an MOV or a WebM, and then make sure that my transparent button is checked on, right? When you open it, it may be off, turn it on, and then go ahead and select your output file. And then I will hit save. And then it will then export out my lower third as a transparent file. And I can take that and use that in a different project as I need to. Um, so it's a really cool way to, um, to utilize your files that way. All right, so next up, let's go ahead and bring those other images back there. Um, let's just say that I wanna export a still, right? And I wanna maybe I wanna show a client um, what, I, what I'm in the middle of working to kind of get the stamp of approval to kind of move ahead. So what I can do is I can use a cursor and I can find the point that I wanna export as a still frame. And then come over here to my publish section go to image and then choose JPEG. And then all I gotta do is hit select. And then I will then choose save on my file. I'll replace that guy right there. And then now what I can do is I can open file and then it will then go ahead and show me the preview of what it is that I just exported, right? So that's what I could send to a to my client that I'm working with. He can give me the stamp so I can go ahead and move forward with my project. Maybe he likes the way that looks, right? So that's a great way to do that. All right, so now let's say I wanna export out my whole project as is just want to export it out as my final version. So what I can do is I go to publish and go to video and then I will choose MP4 for this guy. And remember you can choose your quality. You can choose your size. Um, what do you want to end with? Do you want it to be on the last frame or do you leave it on an empty frame? You have that choice there. Um, you have the option to use the old rendering engine. Um, you can choose hardware acceleration, which I have set to, and you can apply audio normalization, kind of level out your audio and bring it up nice and level there for you. And then of course we can choose the output file. So I'll call this, um, video and we'll just say version one there, hit save, and it's gonna add to the render queue and then you can go ahead and do it. One thing really cool about the render queue is that you can have multiple files um, going at the same time. So you can set set one to go and then you can come back into Create Studio 3 and keep working and in the background it's still rendering out depending on how large your video file is. It may take a little while, right? So you do have that ability to continue your workflow and not just sit there and wait for render to go out. Um, so that's how you can export out your full quality full version project there at the same time. Now say for example, um, I just wanna export out my audio file, right? I have some options for that as well. So if I go back to publish, I go to audio, now I can export out just the audio file as an MP3 or as a full scale WAV file, right? So I'll choose WAV. And again, I have the option to, to apply audio normalization if I want to. Maybe I'm gonna export that audio file out into a different pro um, program altogether. So maybe I don't wanna apply normalization and I can uncheck it there um, if need be, right? Let's go ahead and turn it on for now. Let's choose our output file there, and we'll call this audio v1 as well here for that. Hit save, then it's gonna render out just the audio. All right, and then you do have the option to open the file or to open the folder itself and then navigate to the file you just exported. All right, so really cool features for publishing your files inside of Create Studio 3. All right, hopefully you got some really cool quick tips out of here. Can't wait to see what y'all create, and I'll catch y'all in the next tutorial. Thank you.